Let's go. Let go, let go, let go. What's up, family? Welcome back to My Black Universe. So we have the Raycon Gaming Earbuds. This has by far been my most viewed video in a short amount of time, in a long time. I figured I'd give you guys another review, something shortened. Um, I did a live review, didn't get the best response during the live, but it's getting views after the fact. And I figured for those of you who don't want to look at a whole hour or near hour of footage, um, here we are. So my take on the Raycon earbuds. Forget these if you're looking for sound quality. Forget these if you're looking for everyday usability. Forget these if you're looking at these for more than just gaming earbuds. And to be frank, they're not that great at being gaming earbuds. These do very well with amplifying explosions and gunshots, which are great until it's in your ear and you're at near max volume. Here's the problem with that. Well, Victor, just turn on the volume. Well, how are you going to hear your teammates? They'll hear you fine. As far as mic quality and listening to your teammates, great. COD Mobile, excellent. I've had nobody say, hey man, your microphone sounds your microphone sounds weird. Hey man, you sound muffled. Hey man, you oh, what are you what are you playing with? What are you using? People have heard me fine, but I've asked people, hey, what does the mic sound like? They don't say anything. They're like, okay, hey, we're going here. I'm, I get ignored because these don't sound bad as far as being able to communicate, but when it comes to sound. Having explosions sound as loud as these do. In your ear, near your eardrum is not a good look at all. I've learned the hard way, okay? Uh, so I have my hearing, but these are loud. They're very boomy. And I think that needs to be addressed. Now, as I said in my fitness earbuds video, these would benefit greatly from having an app. They would greatly benefit from having an app because you can change the settings. So with the Turtle Beaches, for my Xbox, I have in-game sound and I have microphone sound. I can adjust the two here on the hardware, but this is a larger piece of tech, larger piece of hardware. In fact, you see it. Also, these cover the ear. So if I want to lower the sound on my teammates and hear the footsteps better, it's better for me because the sound has to travel further to reach my eardrum. And of course, I can still adjust it on the fly. So if it's too loud, I can adjust it. If it's too low, I can adjust it. It is what it is. You can't do that on these. Raycon needs to develop an app. They need to have a universal app for their earbuds. So whichever ones you get, you can pair them up. They can recognize those earbuds and you can change the settings. You can lower the volume as far as the in-game volume, so the explosions won't be so loud, they won't sit there beating up your eardrum, so you can still hear your teammates and be able to communicate with them and be able to have effective gameplay, especially if you game somewhat competitively. Now, do I like the way these look? Yeah. Do I feel like these are gaming earbuds? As far as the aesthetic, yes. These look very futuristic, very gaming earbud-like, but there's one thing I wish they would also do that they should have did from the beginning. Remove the option to turn on hypersync mode. That should be standard. Let me say it one more time. Remove the option to have hypersync mode. That should be standard. When you are playing competitively, when you're playing period, you don't want your footsteps, your gunshots and everything to be after sound. You don't want that latency, that delay in your sound from when you have an action going on to when you hear the action. That sucks. I'm sorry, this sucks it throws off the gameplay. I don't know why they made an option. That should have been something standard in there. You could have used that command for something different. I don't know what you could have used it for, but you could have used that for something different and that would have made it a better gaming experience. Just to have, hey, these have active hypersync mode for the super low latency. If it uses up more battery, that's fine. You tout all this battery life, take that away. I don't want to keep doing it every time I have to turn them on and, and press and hold. Also, with that being said, sometimes even the earbuds, when you put them in, they'll say connected at slightly different times. They'll say Raycon at slightly different times. And so it's like these are not as refined as they should be. I honestly feel like part of me feels like they kind of took the E85 and said, you know what? 
we can branch into a market nobody's ever been to and just kind of threw these out there. Raycon, you can do better with these. As I've seen you do with the E55s, the everyday speakers, the power speaker, you can do much better. Next generation gaming earbuds, go for the go. Get a snap, take away hyper sync mode, make it a full time function, passive function, and make sure the explosions don't blow your eardrums out. Sheesh. Oh, one last thing. I like this look, you know, the sheen, or whatever, on a digital purple. These don't do a great job standing here. So maybe a wing or comply tips or something to help better stabilize the earbud for a longer, better, more secure gaming experience. That's all I'd say on these. Until next time, peace, black empowerment.